when you get to the point where you actually need to make edits to your artwork, then you'll need to make that artwork look as big as possible, mainly because some of the elements inside of Illustrator and the things you need to click on can be quite small and fiddly. Making them look bigger on screen can save a bit of frustration. Now to do that, you'll need to utilize tools. So Illustrator tucks many of the tools away to the side of the screen. You have on the left hand side, the tools panel. That includes everything from being able to pick up a tool to select something, to rotate and resize it. And down at the bottom of the tools panel, some navigational tools, which includes things like the zoom tool to make your artwork look bigger on screen. Now I'm going to head to the second artboard. Now this artboard contains a whole host of different bits of artwork and you can probably guess what needs to happen here. Yeah. So you're going to build your own hiker. We're going to put together of your choosing. You can pick the hair, the face and the backpack to build a hiker. And this is actually the dad that's part of the family and he needs to be reunited with his family on artboard number one eventually. But in order to be able to do all those things, we need to be able to see that artwork nice and close. And for that, we need the zoom tool. So in the tools panel on the left hand side of the screen, the bottom icon out of that whole set that's available in there is the zoom tool. The tooltip will also tell you if there's a keyboard shortcut available for it. In the case of the zoom tool, well, it's Z. So you could tap that to make the tool active or left click on the tool icon. Now that I've clicked on that tool, you'll notice that the properties panel has also changed. It's trying to adapt and guess what I might need to do. If I want to zoom into something, well then quite simply hover your cursor over the thing you want to zoom into and left click with the mouse and it will zoom into what's called an increment. You can keep hovering over the thing you want to zoom into and keep left clicking to zoom in. And you'll notice that in the document tab at the top left hand side of the image window, now it tells me I'm viewing the artwork at 400%. You could keep left clicking or indeed you could just click and hold down the left mouse button and that will animate zoom in a little bit quicker. The zoom tool will allow you to magnify your artwork to some really staggering sizes and that's part of the beauty of vector graphics. So if I was to keep left clicking with the mouse, I would eventually get to a zoom level that is 64,000% and realistically, you're not going to be editing at this kind of level, but it just shows you that the beauty of vector artwork is that we can inspect it at very, very high detail. The only trouble is that we can't realistically do anything at this size in here. So we need to zoom out. There is only one zoom tool. And at the moment, notice that the icon inside of the cursor is a plus. Well, to zoom out, then what you do is you hold down the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC. And if you think of that as being the alternate behavior of the tool, that can be often quite true. So by holding down the alt or the option key, it now reveals the minus inside of the zoom tool. Keep that key held down and left click with the mouse repeatedly and you can zoom out. And in fact, you can hold down alt or option and the left mouse button to zoom out automatically. And you can keep zooming out and zooming out until you reach the maximum zoomed out level, which is 3.13%. When you let go of the mouse and the alt key, it reinstates the plus inside a magnifying glass to tell you that you can then zoom in. And the reason why I've zoomed out this far, not because it's a very useful zoom level, but just to show you that everything that we have to work with are those very now tiny looking artboards. And the only area that we can work with inside of Illustrator is the dark gray box. That's the called the canvas. You can think of it as an area where you can utilize and have any artwork inside of the dark gray area. If you want it to appear in the final artwork in print or on screen, it has to live on one of those artboards. The light gray area on the outside of Illustrator, you can't access that. It's out of bounds. Now, in this scenario, it's probably worthwhile rather than clicking repeatedly to zoom back into artboard number two, it's still active. So you could go to the view menu and go down to a command called fit artboard in window. Notice it also has a keyboard shortcut, command and zero on the Mac or control zero on a PC. So if I click on that, it then kind of resets the view of my artwork. It takes me back to familiar territory. So that is how you can use the zoom tool to zoom into something or zoom right back out as far as you need to inside of your active document.